what's up guys? Time for the next part of our guitar kit series here. So this thing is essentially ready now. Fretboard's good to go. All the routing is in place and everything. It's basically ready for finishing work. Now, if it were all the uh, just the standard wood, what I would do at this point is do the finish sanding, which this this is basically it's basically been finish sanded. I did that after I grain filled it, but I'm going to go over it again just to be on the safe side. Uh, but for this one, because it's got this flame maple veneer on it, which is extremely thin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by wiping a dye on there. And it's going to be a fairly dilute one because I've got a pretty interesting finish in mind for this guy. Once I've got that on there, I'm going to sand it very lightly and I'm going to do the finish sanding for the rest of the guitar at the same time. So this maples are, this flame maple veneer has already been very lightly sanded with 800 grit. I expect that some of that grain will stand up once I put the dye on there because it's going to be water based. Um, so I'll have to wipe it, I'll have to rub it down with sandpaper a little bit again. Ideally, what one would do with this kind of stuff is use accent colors. So I'd, I'd do like maybe a black, uh, a thin black dye on here and then sand it back until that black was only left in the open grain and then I'd go over it again with a different color. Unfortunately, this veneer is too thin for me to really do that, to dye it and then sand it back because I'd probably just sand the veneer right off. Uh, so I get to improvise. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to mix a thin water base green uh, and I'm going to stain it with that. Like I said, I'd rather do it with an accent color, sand it back and then go over it again, but I don't really have that option. So I've got this color tone bright green here. You can mix it with lacquer, which I will probably. You can also mix it with water, which is what I'm going to do right now to create my wipe on stain. And I'm just going to do that first. And then when the water causes the green to raise, I'm going to sand that off once it's dried. And then it'll be time to do the finish sanding. And later what I'm going to do to create kind of like a ghost effect is I'm going to mix this in with probably some clear lacquer is my guess at this point and spray it selectively on there uh, to create different depths of the green. But for now, let's see how this goes. So this stuff is highly concentrated and it stains like crazy. I got a little bit on my finger when I pulled the lid off. Now I'm green, like the Hulk, except much, much smaller. And I dunked my finger in the water <laughs> to clean it off, and now the water is also green. But I want it a little stronger than that. So I'm gonna do just a few drops. I don't want it crazy strong, because I can't sand it off after. So let's hope I didn't overdo it there. There are some sand throughs around the edge of this veneer, which sucks. Uh, so I think I'm going to do probably an opaque, a very fine opaque burst around the edge, just to kind of alleviate that issue. Might, uh, it might thicken out a bit in this part of the guitar, I would imagine. So that's where I'm going to test my dye, where I intend to cover it with probably like a black or something. All right, so I've got my shop towel here and my green. Not super sure about the strength, so I'm not going to use too much of it yet. Well, that didn't do a whole heck of a lot. Let's try it on a bigger area because I'm not too worried about it if that's what I'm going to end up with. I can't even see that in the camera. I can in person, but not very well. That is not a very strong green. Let's rectify that a little bit, shall we? Hopefully it's not just a matter of it not being stirred enough. Nope, that need more power. All right, I just tripled that. So uh, <laughs> let's see how that plays out. I can't find any of my stuff around this new shop yet, so I'm using a screw to mix it. How cute is that? Anyway, let's give it a try now. I'm going to use a new area of the cloth that isn't as wet. That looks a little stronger. 
Testing area again. Hmm. Well, it's starting to look green. And I don't think we overdid it, so let's let's get a a light round of this green on this guitar. Now you can see that some in some places around the edges it's holding in there very very strong. Um, I think that's just because those areas are kind of roughed up and the veneer is not really like there <laughs> because of the quality of this thing when I got it. All right, the camera's not showing this uh, very well, but we're actually starting to get a reasonable green hue to this. I think it's probably best for me to build it up a little bit like this before I start strengthening that die, because I am trying to do this in layers. So I don't want to get it really green right now, otherwise there will be nowhere for me to go after when I go to add the uh, the green lacquer. It doesn't help that there's really nowhere for this to soak into with such a thin veneer. Okay, so that's, I guess, the first coat. And I think it's safe to say that it's going to need a little more than that. It's still pretty bland. You can't, again, see the green very well in the camera, but it's got a little bit of color to it, but it needs more. there it is um, looks different depending on what angle you look at it from a lot of times the stain or dye rather doesn't soak in all that evenly so I'm not uh, I'm not particularly displeased with how that turned out for now you can see around the edges here I've got some aggressive areas where the wood just wasn't able to take it properly which is fine, because like I said, I'm going to be doing that, uh, that vignette on here, that burst effect. So yeah, when we come back, I, what I did, I, st <laughs> I stained that, or dyed it rather. I don't know why I keep screwing that up. Then I went over it with some 800 grit and pulled a little bit off, but very carefully, very little bit, because I didn't want to go through it. Uh, and then I darkened up my dye a little bit and did it again. And this is what I'm left with. So when we come back, we'll do the finished sanding. And then we'll get started on the actual finishing. Now that this is done, I might seal that in and, uh, and go over it with a light coat of the green tinted lacquer, uh, where this will serve to kind of accent that grain a little bit. We'll just have to see. Stay tuned and you'll find out what kind of poor decisions I make on this in the future. Thanks for watching. Read the cautions before you use this stuff, guys. Uh, apparently, I should have been using gloves because I'm going to get cancer. And uh, well, if I were in the state of Ca California, they would know that I'd be getting cancer, or birth defects, or reproductive harm, or something. Um, so I guess just turning my fingers green isn't the the most of my worries here. Thought because it was water soluble that I'd be okay. It does have a VOC content. It's not great for you. They say to wear a respirator and everything. Be safe out there. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up so it'll be easier for other people to find. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the cool projects I got coming out. Also, a big shout out to Sovereign King, who does the vast majority of the music for my channel. Way better on guitar than I am. And to Troy from Noise Guitar Mods, I'll put the link in the description. The man is a great guitar tech, and he's taught me most of what I know about how the internals of these things work. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. 
See you next time.